In this video, I will show you how you can easily create a retro halftone effect in Photoshop. Let's begin by adding a new adjustment layer and choosing black and white. Next, let's create a new layer and then go up to edit, fill, and change the contents to 50% gray and then just hit okay. And now we can right click our new layer and convert this to a smart object. And now let's quickly make sure that our foreground color is white and our background color is black and then go up to filter filter gallery and now under the sketch folder here let's choose halftone pattern and i find that the size looks pretty good either at one or two so i'll just leave it at two and then we can make the contrast zero and then for the pattern type leave that as dot and now let's create a new effect layer and this time let's choose torn edges for the image balance i find that somewhere around 25 looks pretty good for the smoothness, 13 or 14 looks good. I'll just choose, let's say 13. And then for contrast, let's make this one. And then hit okay. Now we can change our blending mode from normal to hard mix. And then we can decrease our fill amount as well. And I think somewhere around 75 looks pretty good. And we can further adjust our halftone effect by making a new adjustment layer and choosing levels. And let's just drag this right below our black and white adjustment layer. And we can move these sliders if we want to add more darkness or more lightness to our halftone effect. So I'll just hit auto for now. And now if you want to add some color, let's add another adjustment layer. And this time choose vibrance. And uh, let's just disable our black and white adjustment layer. Select our vibrance adjustment layer and decrease the saturation here. So I'll do somewhere around let's say 70, just so we have a little bit of color. And then we can increase our vibrance just to make that color pop a little bit more. And yeah, that's how you can easily create a retro halftone effect in Photoshop. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.